All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on March 21st in Southern California, and we're dealing with a very unstable air mass that's moving over the Southern California area today. And I wanted you to notice what you can see on top of these clouds. They've basically put a chemtrail ceiling on top of this. Uh, their forecast today from the National Weather Service calls for scattered showers and thunderstorm activity. And what they've done here is they've put a lid on this thing. These clouds typically rise, and as they rise, they cool, and as they collide with cool air at the high altitudes, they produce thunder and lightning and drop a lot of precipitation. But what they've done here is they've put a lid on this whole thing. You can see plenty of clouds here. You can also see the chemtrails, the lines, this funny, fuzzy, hazy stuff up above. Been sprayed really, really high up there. I don't know how clear this camera is can't really see because it's kind of bright but this is how they stop the rain ladies and gentlemen this is how they minimize the amount of rain that we get okay you can see there's a lot of moisture this is a very unstable air mass that's moving through here it's capable of producing a lot of precipitation if it's left to itself uh, you could see the uh, the puffy clouds that's normal it's this should be backdrop against a complete blue sky ladies and gentlemen not this white powdery feathery stuff that you could see at about 40,000 feet um, as we pan to the northwest, you can see more of the same. This should be backdrop by white and blue, clear blue sky on, on top of those white puffy clouds. But because of the amount of interference that they've placed in the upper atmosphere, the amount of moisture that's going to come out of this unstable air mass moving through Southern California is going to be minimized. This is a textbook example of weather modification, ladies and gentlemen. What they do is they heat the upper atmosphere, they spray metallic nanoparticles, primary aluminum, hit it with ground-based phased array radar and heat it up, and basically blocks the convection. What's really interesting is when you see the formation of the typical anvil uh, formation of thunderstorm clouds, it's very typical to see this stuff injected right on top of it to keep it from producing the amount of moisture that it's capable of delivering. There are various reasons for modifying the weather. We won't go into too much detail on it right now, but it's evidently clear that they are, ladies and gentlemen. And my, my purpose here today is just to kind of inform and instruct you as to what is going on and, and how it's being accomplished. Very interesting sky today.